let's take a look at problem 63a we're into one of the key concepts of our finance course and that is the concept of net present value and irr internal rate of return we'll solve this one we'll do part a by hand and then i'll show you how to do everything in the financial calculator you'll see it's it's a lot quicker in a financial calculator so global vision partners has a potential investment with an initial cost of five hundred thousand dollars and the following projected cash flow flows. Uh, so, you know, when we're thinking about cash flows, we actually have another cash flow at year zero uh, that's not on this list. And these year zero cash flow is $500,000 negative, right? Our initial investment. Uh, you can see 120, 160, 200, 180. Hmm, let's see, total cash flow is 660. Just adding up that list. And so you might think, okay, well, cost me 500. Uh, and I'm bringing in 660, this is a go. And, you know, if we were using payback period, maybe we would sort of say, oh, yeah, it pays back in three years or however long, three and a bit years. Um, maybe that's sufficient for us. But a little bit more sophisticated is to bring in the time value of money. And to bring in the time value of money, you need a discount rate. And so we're going to figure out the present value of these payments using a... Uh, uh, 6% discount rate. So how do I discount these cash flows? Well, very straightforward. You just divide by, now I'll do this in the financial calculator, go quicker, but divide by one plus the discount rate. So in this case, 1.06 raised the power of the number of periods we're discounting. And for our initial thing, it's zero. Now you don't need to do this, but 1.06 to the zero, is one you can see there it's one so five hundred thousand divided by one is five hundred thousand or negative five hundred thousand divided by one is negative five hundred thousand now you just do the same thing for all these cash flows divided by 1.06 to the one divided by 1.06 to the two because of course the more years the uh more the discount factor will be um Okay, so let's do 120 divided by 1.06 to the 1, 120 divided by 1.06 is 113208, 160 divided by 1.06 squared, 1.06 squared, 1.1236, I go 1 over x times 160. 142399 200 divided by 1.06 cubed 1 over x times 200 167924 and 180 divided by 1.06 to the power of 4, 1.06 to the power of 4, 1 over x times 180, 142577. Now you just add everything up, and the idea is if it's positive, this is a good project. If the total number here is negative, this is not a project worth doing. So 500,000 negative plus 113208 plus 142399 plus 167924 plus 142577 equals positive 6610 eight six six one oh eight uh and so what we would say is the net present value here is sixty six thousand one oh eight this is a go we should do the project if the net present value is positive at all it means this is a project worth doing okay so we've solved part a by hand now we'll do everything else in the financial calculator you could do part b by hand just the same thing it's just 20 percent. so everything here the 0.06 is would change to point 
2 is 1.2 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth power. But uh, we don't need to run through that again when we have a financial calculator that'll make our life easier. So here's how we do this in a financial calculator. So I'll, I'll do part A just to show you, and then B and C are just going to be super duper quick once we get the numbers in here. So if you want to do net present value, you have to say, what are my cash flows? So it's the CF button in our BA2 plus calculator. Every financial calculator will have something like this. Unfortunately, I can't support all financial calculators. This is, uh, I think, widely thought of as, as the best or certainly the industry standard one I've seen. So CF. So this is CF at time zero. What is my cash flow at time zero? It's negative 500,000. So I just put in 500,000 negative. I hit enter. And then I hit the down, this is sort of telling you like what you can do here. So there's enter and then there's up and down. So I hit the down there. Cash flow at time one, 113208, 113208. I hit enter, I hit the down arrow. F01 is, what's the frequency? If, if you've got like an annuity with like 15 cash flows at this point, you could enter 15, but we only have, oops, I did the wrong number. Oh my gosh, let's go back up. Uh, cash flow at time one is not 113208, it's 120. I, I, I discounted it already, sorry. Uh, I'm glad I caught that. 120000, enter. So there's my cash flow at time one. This frequency was one. Cash flow at time two, 160, 160. I hit enter. Uh, cash flow at time three, again, the frequency there is one. So cash flow at time three, 200. Enter and the cash flow at time four one eighty. And I'm just skipping past the frequencies because I only have one one hundred and twenty, one one hundred and sixty, one two hundred. If you had multiples of the same, you would uh, uh, put frequency of two or three or whatever. Uh, so anyway, there we go. There's our cash flow at time four, and now we're done. So. I want to do the net present value. So I hit NPV. It says, well, what's your discount rate? It's 6%. So I hit six, enter. I hit the down arrow. It says NPV equals, and it tells me compute is a button you might want to hit now. And so I hit compute, 66108. And you can see the numbers match, right? 66108 is what we had calculated. That's what our financial calculator tells us. So now we can play around. We've got all the cash flows already inputted into our uh, calculator. I can solve part B in one second, right? All I do is I hit NPV again. It says, well, what's the discount rate? It was six. Let's make it 20. I hit enter. I hit the down arrow. I hit, com now this is the old answer. I have to hit compute again. I hit compute and you can see it's negative 86. 343. So, okay, we've solved, right? We've computed the net present value at 6%. We've computed the net present value at 20% discount rates. Um, what is the internal rate of return? The internal rate of return is the discount rate where NPV is zero. You set NPV to zero and you solve for the rate. Now, not an easy thing to do here, solving for the discount rate. Uh, if you do it by hand, it is trial and error. You're just, you know, punching in numbers and saying, well, that's a little too high, that's a little too low. So we know looking at this, it's gonna be between six and 20%. You know, what's it gonna be like 12%, 11%? I don't know, but because I have a financial calculator, it's easy. I've got a button marked IRR, let's hit it. IRR equals, and it says, well, why don't you compute? So let's compute. 11.24%. And there we have it. We've solved the problem. Now, if I entered this IRR as my discount rate, 11.2418, 11.2418. If I go into NPV and I say, no, my I is 11.2418, enter. And now I compute the, uh, the NPV. I hit the down arrow and it is NPV's negative 86, but I hit compute, NPV should be very close to zero. If I didn't round it all, it would be zero. Let's see what NPV is with that slightly rounded answer. You can see it's 0 0.4 cents, 47 cents. It's zero, essentially. So th that's the um, uh, internal rate of return of the project. And what does that mean? Well, it means if my required return is less than 11, this is going to have a positive NPV. If my required return is more than 11, it's going to have a negative NPV. And that's certainly bared out in parts A and B. All right, there we have it.
holy cow, very important concept, right? Net present value, fundamental to your life in a corporate finance class. Uh, so this is the first of many NPV calculations we'll be doing through the course. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.